Hi, today we're going to be installing Zwift Activity Monitor Pro. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to the website that is attached to this video, which is in the URL right now. While you're here, the first thing you should probably do is go to the README. The README will kind of give you a guide on what Zwift Activity Monitor Pro is, how to use it, that kind of stuff. You can skip this step, but I'd advise you take a look at it. So to get started, we want to download the latest release. So just do it. Once that downloads, just open the installer and follow the instructions. OK, so when you click on the download, the installer will open and it looks like this. So what we want to do is go through each of the pages and get it installed. Best thing to do is just accept the directory that's already there. Okay, so this is pre prerequisite number one. There's a program called MPCAP version 1.50 that needs to be installed. So we can go ahead and install it right from here. What it's telling me here is that we should accept all the installation default settings, so you don't even have to think about it when that comes up. <clears throat> Agree to that, just leave everything alone. And that's done. Okay, the second prerequisite for Zwift Activity Monitor Pro is it needs the Microsoft.NET uh, desktop framework, so or the desktop runtime. So let's go ahead and install that now. And we're done. OK, at this point, we can show that readme file or go ahead and launch, but we're just going to uncheck everything. The installation has put an icon on our desktop top right here. So let's go ahead and double click that. Splash screen comes up, and we are in. Okay, so the installation, uh, when it first starts up, it needs a couple things to be configured. The initial setup guidance window appears, and with some quick start instructions. So this is the few things that we have to set up. So it's telling us on the system tab, which we're sitting on right now, we need to select our network, save it, and then start the Zwift packet monitor. And then secondly, we need to go into the user profiles tab and enter our weight and FTP and email address. These are a couple of the important things. And then we can close this and we can go Zwifting. So let's give it a whirl. So the very first thing I wanna do is set my network. So I go into edit, set it, go into here. I know that I run on my ethernet and I'm just gonna save that. And then the instruction said, I'm start to start the Zwift packet monitor. So let's go ahead and do that. I have Zwift running right now. And so you can see that it actually is starting to pull data. 
So the next thing I want to do is go into my user profiles and configure my correct weight and FTP and email address. If you're, only, if you're the only user on your system, just configure the default user. There's no real reason to, to add a new user. So let's just go in and edit. My current Swift weight is 148. My FTP is 283. And my email address of .kevin at outlook.com. Save that. And we are done with the setup. It then said we just need to close it and go over to here and say start. OK, so like I said, I have Zwift running. So let's bring Zwift up. And so Zam is actually an overlay on top of the Windows program. So for one thing, you need to make sure that Zwift is in windowed mode and not full screen mode. So I'm in windowed mode and you can tell because I can sit there and just maximize the window right there and make it as big as it can be, but still has a title bar. I can then take Zam and I can move it around wherever I like it. And I usually like it right in here. And you notice it has a transparent background. That way I can still see the power up through there. Okay, so right now it says it's waiting on the event clock. So as you can see, our event clock is not running, and that's why it isn't running either. So let's go over to my bike on my trainer, and I'll spin the pedals a few times and generate some power and get my avatar moving. And here we go. All right. And so the event clock is running and Zam is running. No, I'm not going to sit here all day spinning these pedals because that's enough to just show you that's how you set it up and get it going. And so what's going to happen here is when that clock pauses, because I'm no longer actually riding, you're going to notice this clock stops as well and it goes into paused. And therefore, the, the actual collectors themselves are not pulling in any more data. So that's it. That's the installation of Zam. I hope you find it pretty easy and straightforward. We'll do other videos on tutorials on how to use all the other windows, but this will actually get you going. All right. Have a nice day.